Good morning everybody, welcome back to Lily Lulu. My name's Karen, if you're new here, I'm the Junk Journal Geek. And if you're a returning visitor, thank you very much for coming back and joining me today. So I'm continuing work on the Rambling Rose Journal. This is a design team project for Sunny Creates. And hopefully you'll find all the links in the description below. And today I think I'm gonna work on the cover. So um, if you have been here before, you'll have seen that recently Claire from Purple Poppy and myself did a journal swap and I made, um, well, we agreed to make an A6 size journal, which is half the size of this. And I used a padded envelope for the cover and I really liked the way it felt in the hand. But that cover was pieced together from several different pieces of material and I'm intending this cover to be made from this material which is um, an old duvet cover from my eldest daughter's bedroom when she was about six or seven. So it's quite old. It's not vintage but it's quite old. Um, and you know it's got flowers on it, roses and things and I thought this would work actually for both of the journals that I'm working on at the moment. So I want to see how a cover comes out just with the one layer of fabric on. Um, so I thought I'd give that a try. Now unfortunately I didn't, I didn't think that you know an A4 size padded envelope is not going to be big enough or A4 sheets of paper folded in half um, because you know where well, you can see. So then I threw my toys out the pram and thought, what am I doing? Um, and A, I thought to myself, next time I print a kit, maybe I will not print it borderless, that will give me a bit more room to play with. But then I thought. Yeah, so then I was going to go make a hardcover journal like I normally make, but I really wanted to have a go at doing this. So I thought, well, why don't I just piece together the two pieces of envelope? Because I would have cut that into a single sheet anyway, so I would have got both the journal covers out of the one envelope. I hope I'm explaining this properly, so it would have gone like that, but obviously that's not big enough. So I thought, well, maybe I can... I mean, I could have just cut the envelope in half better, but I didn't because when I cut the envelope in half, I was intending to use both halves in for two different journal covers. I feel like I'm really going a long winded way around explaining what I'm doing. So I do apologize, but it is first thing in the morning. Have another slurp of tea, maybe that'll help. So if I do this again, what I'm trying to say is if this works, I will cut the envelope in half and leave this piece attached, I think is what I'm trying to say. Although, having said that, if I did that with this envelope, you'd have this edge piece on the spine, which wouldn't be a good idea. So scrap that, maybe I would just cut it in half. So anyway, I'm gonna stick these two bits of envelope together and see how we go. Now, one thing I did forget to get was the tape. And I thought, let me just grab the tape. I thought that as I am um, covering all this, you're not going to see any of it. Probably parcel tape will work. You know, it's strong. I know it's not very pretty, but it's strong. And hopefully that will do the trick. So I need to overlap this quite a bit, I think, because if my spine is going to be here, I don't want that join, you know, right on the spine because it's going to be a weak point. Sorry, I've just knocked the camera holder. I put it in a, another different place today to see if it works any better. Um, which is why you've got a funny view of me today, but I'm still knocking it. It's still too close to me. If, you, if I put it too far away, you can't see what I'm doing. But if I put it too close, I keep knocking it. 
So I'm thinking that hopefully that, oh no, that doesn't give me enough. Um, just, um, I need to make sure I've got enough to come out, you know, to cover everything. But right, hopefully, if I join it about there, hopefully that will be enough. I'm hoping this will work. But I can see me ending up doing a hard cover for this. So let's just compare that because I think this piece of fabric is about the size I need the book to be. I might, it is a bit wider. Okay, so I think that that should just be about right, hopefully. So I'm going to find the end of the parcel tape. So while I'm doing that, how are you all? I hope you're all doing well. I've got this, I'm recording this the day after my last video. I didn't get back in time to do a second video um, after I walked the dog, as I was hoping. I'm trying to pull this tape open without making a lot of horrible noise. I think what I'm going to do is just pop a couple of pieces down to hold it in place and then cover the whole thing. Um, yeah, I didn't get back in time after I took the dog for a walk to do another video yesterday. So this is the next day, but I have filled my glue bottle up and I have thought about what I'm doing. Not very successfully, perhaps, but I have thought about it. I'm just hoping that this parcel tape will stick to this bubble wrap. I think it should. Um... And today, I wasn't expecting to have day to myself. Um, but my husband's shift has changed. So I have got a day to myself. An extra day of crafting. <laughs> Always a good thing. So, now I think that, that will, you know, really be enough to make sure that that spine is going to be okay. And I'm just going to do the other side as well. Let's chop that off there. Now this is going to be um, too tall so I'm, I'm going to need to cut it down to the size I want it. But that's where we are at the moment. Now I wonder if I'm just, if you can see that tape through this, I think it will probably be all right, but I can always put, you know, a piece of lace or something down the spine to make it look prettier. So now I, I need to decide how tall I want this to be. So I use my piece of fabric as a guide, a rough guide. Um, and decide how best to do this. I'm just going to chop the top and bottom off so that we have a straight-ish line and then I'm going to double check my sizing. another lovely day here. The sun's shining, it's nice and warm outside. Got my washing on the line again. Remember to get my washing done and out on the line before I turn the camera on so you don't have to listen to that horrible noise in the background. Right, so essentially this is going to be my cover. That was easy wasn't it? So I think what I'm going to do, I always have problems when I stitch my fabric to my covers. Sorry, jogging the camera again. Um, 
and I'm not sure why that is, but I always end up with some puckering. Um, but I do really want to stitch this. I like the way it looks when it's stitched. So I think I will have a go and stitch this in place. I'm just umming and ahhing whether to um, pop some glue down first. I think I will. So, mm. I'm just thinking, will the, um, Art Good Screw will hold it, but will it seep through and spoil my fabric? Or should I, maybe I'll just pop some glue stick down just to hold it in place. And then I will stitch it. And I'm trying to take the bottom off the glue stick instead of the top. Um, yeah, then I'll stitch it in place and see how it's looking. So let's just put some random bits of glue stick on. Oops. Right, well that, it's definitely in the wrong place, isn't it, today? That um, phone holder, so I'm gonna have to move that. Right. So I'm going to disappear for a moment and stitch this, and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back again. Hopefully you can still see me okay. I've moved the camera stand over that way a little bit so that hopefully I don't keep knocking it. Um, so I have stitched the fabric on to the envelope. Not 100% happy with the way it's turned out because of my puckering, but I think that is to do with my sewing skills and my lack of knowledge about my machine, I imagine that if I get the manual out and read it, if I changed the tension or the stitch length or something, I'm pretending I know what I'm talking about, <laughs> um, I might be able to avoid that, but that will, you know, by the time we've decorated the cover and added some lace and bits and pieces, they won't really be noticeable. And it is a junk journal, so, you know, they are forgiving. So my book is going to go in there. I've got excess to deal with, um, which I will do. But what I need to do now is decide what I'm going to have on the inside cover. So I've just pulled out um, some options to have a look at. Bearing in mind, you know, we want the, the, the inside cover to go with the inside of the book but it also needs to sort of tie in with the fabric cover. So this one is an option. And I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to tell you where all of these papers are from because they're just, um, I have a big stash in my cupboard that is all, um, you know, I've had for years, so. I know this one is Tim Holtz, and I thought this would be relevant. It, it you know, it's the same sort of feel, um, and it also says Fleur on it, and it has the little, the pink roses in the background. Um, this one is also Tim Holtz, I know. Um, we've got pink roses and yellow roses, but we have got yellow on the cover. I don't think there's much yellow in the book itself although you know the Edith Holden pages are in that sort of colour range and we do have some yellow on those um, ruffles so oh I don't think I showed you that I sewed my ruffles in did I so that one might be an option um, Then we've just got, you know, a more neutral 
which might be nice, especially if I'm going to stick a pocket on or something. These ones I think might be a bit too... Um, I don't know if the word is bright that I'm looking for, but I think everything is, is quite subtle, you know, aged. And I think these are quite modern and bright, so I don't think these ones are going to work. But they might work for the other journal because that's got, this journal is predominantly pink, whereas the other one is, you know, more pastel colours. We've got pink and lilac and blue as well. That one straight away I don't like. No. So it's out of these. And obviously I will have a strip of something in the middle there that the signature will be sewn to. Um, so, you know, something like that. Or like that, perhaps. Um, I feel like we've got this pattern sort of going on through the journal here and there so and it's pink so that blends in quite well and then this is um you know sort of a similar type of pattern max get down max get down excuse me the dustmen are here and max is up at the window sorry about that didn't think you'd want to listen to a big barky fit in the background yeah so I might go with this I know it's quite um plain and subtle but then that showcases the you know the papers that we're working on which is the whole idea of you know a design team project isn't it so Max quiet come here come here quiet good boy so somebody's just walking up the alleyway and they're making a lot of noise good boy good quiet right so um what i will be doing next then is um i wonder if i can i've got time to i better do it off camera because i'm going to be chopping and knocking the camera and things so i'm going to cut this down to size and cover the inside of the cover that we've made and i'm going to sew in my signatures um, so I'll do that off camera. I'll quickly show you what I did when you weren't here because I don't think I've shown you um, the bits and pieces sewn in. So we stuck those background sheets down together. Um, so after I, I finished filming yesterday, I've stuck or I've sewn these ruffles onto the page edges and closed these pockets. So just so that you can see how it's looking and I hope I am in frame. Um, so I've added some lace in down one side of the center of each signature. Um, and I feel like I do need to put this book together now to be able to finish, you know, ephemera, where it's going and what it's doing. So that pocket's closed and that has some sari silk, very tatty sari silk down that edge. Um, I finished stenciling this page and then stuck the little glassine bag in that we made last time. Um, what else have I done? This pocket's now closed. And that's the first signature. This pocket's closed. Uh, this music sheet has got another ruffle 
down the edge. Um, I may put some more ruffles in, but obviously they will have to be stuck on rather than sewn in once I've put the book together. Um, I went through and stenciled the rest of those pages that were just white. Another piece of lace, more stenciling. Another ruffle. This stripy material is the sheet that went with this duvet cover. <laughs> Knew they'd come in handy. So that's the other side of that music paper. This pocket is now closed and our little tuck hiding there in the background don't like the fact I've got a fold in there but I'm hoping that once the signatures are sewn in that's not going to be so obvious I think that's because I was fiddling about with it before the glue had dried and then in this signature more stenciling another ruffle so you see some of these ruffles have got the yellow on so we do have a little bit of yellow in this journal. Oh, I've missed one. Right, need to leave that out then so that I can see I've missed that pocket. More lace in the center of that signature. I wonder how I missed that one. This pocket's now closed and there's a ruffle on that side and that matches the cover. more stenciling so I did a little bit after I turned after I got back from walking the dog didn't turn the camera back on that pocket's closed that needs something along there to hide that fold all these strings need cutting more of that tatty old sari silk and that pocket's now closed Did I miss anything else? Good job I checked, wasn't it? Can you imagine if I'd sewn all these signatures in and then realised I hadn't closed that pocket? Mind you, there's always glue. Another piece of lace. More stenciling. And that pocket's now closed with some more ruffle. And I think... That's it, yep, that pocket's closed. So that's just the one that I missed. A random missed pocket. So that's where we are at the moment. So I will probably put this together now off camera um, and then come back and show you what I've done and start putting in the bits we've made, which I feel like's quite a lot, but I know once it starts going in the journal, it's gonna feel like there's hardly anything in there. So, um, I shall go away and get on with that. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing what we're up to so far. And uh, go away now, look after yourselves, take care and enjoy your own crafty time. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.